Brilliant, and hopefully the Facebook Live video as well now going out to everybody. So welcome those who are just arriving, whether it be on the Facebook Live or being on the, the Zoom call. It's been a little while since we've had these spaces together, so uh, it's, a, it's a case of remembering maybe rather than it being automatic for this Tuesday evening. But fantastic to see everybody who's, who's coming along for tonight's online drumming circle, and this one being the closest to Lunasa, this being our Lunasa drumming circle. So we'll be drumming some energy to the, the spirit of the season and connecting in with the spirit of the season. I can see, brilliant, people starting to arrive um, on Facebook Live there. Welcome everybody, I can see your comments just starting to come in. Do let us know where you're joining in from. Um, I can already see a couple of familiar faces uh, joining us, but if it's your first time as well, do say hello and let us know in the comments. And uh, it's nice at the start to get a sense of how wide this circle is, if uh, if you let us know where you're joining in from. We're usually a wide circle spreading across the across the world, and it's uh, yeah nice to get a feel at the start for uh, for how wide that circle is. I'm joining in from a slightly different place to usual. I've moved house and moved work, and so this is the new workshop um, here. Uh, still just outside Canterbury, this workshop space. Um, I'll be putting out some more details about it soon um, and hopefully further down the line when I'm all in and sorted. It'll be a place where people can come and visit as well. Um, but yes, here I am in the new workshop space and the first drumming circle back after this short break uh, we're holding here. I welcome those joining in from Luxembourg, uh, those joining in from Enville, welcome those joining in from London and uh, do keep letting us know in the, the comment section. I can see, oh fantastic, there's a few more people who have uh, found the live stream. Do, uh, if you've seen the live stream, kind of, uh, if it's just popped up on your news feed or whatever, do please click share on it, it just helps it kind of reach out a little bit further. Fantastic, we've got, we've got our regular friends from San Francisco. Amazing, representing, let's see. Oh, representing, gotcha, really good to see you again and more people arriving in Zoom. So we're, uh, we'll often find this in the summer, summer times in the evenings here that it's, uh, we just just remember just at seven o'clock, oh, time to, time to go, time to start for the drumming. So everyone's just starting to arrive now. Another friend's joining in from uh, Wiltshire, uh, from the Broads, from Derbyshire, Hello, welcome those who are joining and waving on the Zoom call. The joy of the Zoom call is we can join in and wave there, that's fantastic. Somebody joining in from on a boat, wow, wonderful, wonderful. Get the drum beat rippling those kind of, uh, those healing rhythms through the water and carrying on down, that's amazing. Wonderful. So yes, it's the first time in a, a little while since we've had these, since the beginning of June. So a good uh, six or so weeks since the last one. Um, reading the newsletter to kind of get a bit of an update on what's been going on. But the main bits, as you'll notice, is the backdrop slightly different. Similar, but different. You'll recognise some similar features. So there's still the, uh, the, the antlers there. Uh, and a number of the altar items. It's still kind of an evolving altar at the moment as I... Uh, settle in and focus in but yes a wall of drums behind me as well uh, with this new space here being uh, the new Heron Drums headquarters as it were as being the, the, the space where I'm creating drums and where everything's going to be uh, where it, any of your drums that you've ordered will be birthed and sent, on, sent uh, off from from here some more people arriving, some friends from Sweden, some friends joining in from Somerset. I'm going to beat Christine and type in it, she's from Gisborough. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so this evening, oh, thundery Gisborough. Oh, fantastic. There is a, a, bit, a bit extra there. So we've got the drums in the sky going as well as the drums in the hands. Wonderful, wonderful. Well this evening we'll come together with our usual drumming circle, we'll join together with the drum, we'll drum with the energy of the season, 
we'll have a round for of a healing healing drumming and um we'll join in with some, with some song as well uh for this evening too um as we begin yeah brilliant i've said everybody's in in different places this is uh this is me also just kind of remembering how how we usually have this laid out and how it's usually set up. I've had to set up different boxes here because the usual desk space in the uh, from the old office is, is all laid out slightly differently. But um, just making sure I can see everything that I usually see. Wonderful. More friends joining in from Derbyshire. So to begin, I'm going to invite everybody just to centre and ground themselves. We may have come from busy days, I know I've rushed backwards and forwards a little bit today. So a bit of time now just so that we can arrive and centre here. And I also remind people just to remember this, if you need to leave early this evening or if you need to kind of nip out because something is go else is kind of needing you in the house, it's useful just or it's important just to take a moment just to centre and to ground. Because while we're doing the drumming, as the evening goes on, we drop deeper and deeper and it's just, just a little bit of a kind of a returning to ourselves, making sure we're fully grounded and centred before we go on and do something else. So um, yeah, we'll start with that here, just because if we've arrived from whatever we're doing, it just helps us drop into this space within ourselves to be here, really present this evening for the drumming. So I'm going to invite you wherever you are to just be comfortable in your seat. Um, I'm also going to smudge, so if you have smudge herbs at home and you are familiar with smudging, that may be something that you're wanting to do now, if you're wanting to, to use those. But if you're just there in your seat, just take a moment just to bring your attention to your breath. And there's no need to change it or affect it in any way. Just notice how your normal rhythm of your breath currently is at the moment. Feel that breath as it comes in. Notice that feeling as you feel full with breath. And feel that exhale. And that little moment before the next breath before the next inhale. And just really consciously watching that breath as it comes into your body. And as you exhale. Just noticing the gentle rising and falling of your chest and your shoulders with your breath. And how with the exhale you just relax that little bit more into where you're seated. As you just start releasing and letting go. Any of those little tensions from the day. And if you work with visualizations or if visualizations are useful for you, see now as you breathe, see those roots going down from your feet, going down into the earth beneath you, through all of the layers of stone and soil, through all of that wet earth. Pushing down deep. as the roots push through and find their own little avenues to really, really stretch into the earth holding you grounded, supported and as you breathe in, breathe in through those roots and draw that earth energy, that grounding energy up through you up through your tree body through your trunk and up outwards through those branches that extend upwards from your head and shoulders out to the sky. Let each in-breath draw in from the roots, 
up through you and those out breaths going out to the sky to be caught by the winds or the breezes to be carried up past the clouds and to the light of the stars and the moon and the sky above And with your next breath and starting to alternate, breathe in then from those heavens, that light of the sun and the light of the moon and the light of the star nations. And breathe that light down through you, through your tree body and out through the roots below, out into the earth. And then your next breath, breathing in from the earth, that grounding earth energy up through you and out through the branches. both grounded to this earth and connected to those worlds above. All just with that breath. And if you do work with the smudge herbs, with the plant spirits, you can join with me now as we just light them and release their, release their fragrances release their blessings release that cleansing spirit and as we ask them and call on their healing blessings as we pass that incense smoke around us we ask that it can help carry off, lift off and carry away the stresses of the day clear those weights that are weighing heavy on our mind, straining on our shoulders, the butterflies in the belly, all those things that are stopping those steps forward. We ask the plant spirits to carry on with that prayer, that healing, that cleansing for all of those in the circle those who are joining in now and those who are joining in later we leave that smouldering just back here just to send up those prayers just to continue that circle holding the circle in that space of cleansing and protection <sighs> that feels better and so from this place here where we just drop down that little bit deeper into ourselves, move from our head into our heart or from our heart into that deeper point within us, let's just send out that call to the earth beneath us, to the earth that holds us and heals us and guides us on our journey through life, that earth now that is supporting all of those all, all of the life that is coming into its fullness, that is coming into its fruits, that is coming into or going from green to gold as we come into the harvest. We honour the waters that have been falling as rains, some places extremely heavily, but all of them going in to nourish the soil, to nourish the plants and to nourish the earth and we honour those healing waters that spread in the rivers and streams and out to the sea and we honour those waters within us. To the winds that have blown, the gentle breezes on some days and the wild winds on others that help clear away the old and that help bring in the new, those winds of inspirations, of ideas, of creativity. We honour you and welcome you. And to all of the fires in this celebration of Lunasa, we honour the fire of the sun that has ripened, or that is ripening the fruits, that has ripened the grains, that has warmed the earth. And how it connects with all of those other fires of 
creativity, of passion, of excitement, of illumination. Honour and welcome the fire here. And in the circle, in the space that's called close to us, all of those guides and spirit allies that work with us and work through us. And let us honour the ancestors, those ancestors of our own bloodline, going back and back and back through the generations. Those ancestors of this land, those that have in times past celebrated this at this time of year, this time of the first harvest, whether it be as Lunasa or Lamas or any of the other celebrations that that happen in different countries and or have happened over time in different countries at this time to honor this time of the year and let's honor all of the healers and seers and keepers of the sacred crafts that have passed them on these traditions on and these sacred ways on in such a way that we can continue to have this space here and although separated by many miles different countries different continents that we can be here in this circle together to connect with the sacred. So for this whole circle and to recall to all of the spirits of the north and the east and the south and the west and we ask the circle to be blessed and to the earth below and sky above fill the circle with purest love blessed be. And blessed be Aho Amen whatever is the the right way for you for ending prayers and for ending sharings or ending the, the session this evening when we get to there, uh, you end with that for yourself. Hey, <sighs> fantastic to see everybody again. It's uh, it's one thing to be uh, holding the circle in a different different space, but if I'd done it a couple of weeks ago, I've been a little bit fresher on remembering everything that gets set up. So we're uh, sort of just just finding it again. On here for this space but lovely to bless this space with an evening of drumming and uh, from wherever we're joining in I've seen some other people uh, commenting on Facebook joining in from Germany and we've uh, got people joining in from Luxembourg uh, people joining in from the US from San Francisco um, extremely wide circle internationally and lots of people around the country as well lovely to have you all here in this new space for this first circle and so let's have our first round of drumming as we usually do, a calling for unity on the circle to bring us all in together. Oh, and blessings from New Zealand, just to stretch it out further. Fantastic, welcome. A wide, wide circle. Um, we'll have our first round of drumming just to connect us all in together in this wide circle wherever we are. And welcome any new friends, new folks who for whom this is the first uh, evening, how we do these is we have a few rounds of drumming each round of drumming is a prayer with a particular focus and intention and we feel fantastic from the drumming it does what it needs to do for us it stirs what it needs to do for us it moves what it needs to do for us it helps us release what we need to um, but there's a massive amount of energy that we build when we drum on our own in a circle and this circle spread right out right around far and wide and we're going to dedicate that to or focus that on weaving this circle here together and, uh, and, and coming together unite, in a united circle. And I'll begin with a drum rhythm. You join in with whatever rhythm is right for you with it. And if you've not got a drum, just join in with that open heart, that drum that's beating in your chest there. And uh, have a lovely time connecting with the drumming. Apologies everybody, I can see confused faces on Zoom, my, my, my fault. Unity. Let's not leave anyone behind. Let's not leave the Zoom room behind.
Allowing that little moment for the vibrations of the drum just to settle within you. And to spread out and dissipate beyond the space there. And just with your breath, just, just bringing yourself right back into your body there. A couple of deep grounding breaths. And let us know when you're back. If it's on uh, Facebook Live, send up a bubble there in the corner. Uh, if it's or in a comment with, a, with one of the thumbs or the hearts, or let us know in the comments. If you're on the Zoom, I can see most of you. When you're ready, say hi. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I can see most people back. Most people's got their cameras there. Fantastic. And there they go, all of the bubbles, all of the balloons going up in the side there. Thumbs and hearts, people back from back from that first round of drumming, joining us in as a circle. And feeling the energy start to rise in that first round of drumming. You get very, very hot. It's hot and humid anyway at the moment. But always the first round of drumming in the evening is the one where the temperature always soars for me. Fantastic, a few more people joined uh, during that. I hope you're able to join in all right and uh, connecting with the drumming there. But let us know in the comments or in the chat how you're feeling from that and how that round of drumming was for you there. Oh, as I was saying, it's not uh, hot and humid where they are. I think that was, uh, was that our friends messaging from New Zealand, so complete other uh, flip flip side of the seasons. We're talking about Luna, so our hottest time of the year, and they're potentially the coldest time of the year. Here it's very hot and humid, as others in the circle were saying. It's been uh, thundering up where they are, and the drums often kind of reacting to the humidity in the air. My drums sounding a little bit on the f on the flat side. I can hear them just uh, just tipping into the flat side there. How are you all feeling from that round of drumming? I've seen uh, a comment go up there of uplifting, others saying peaceful, others it's good to be back drumming. Others saying feeling connected. That's the aim and intention of that round of drumming. We're used to when we're in drumming groups with people around us we're used to hearing all of the other drums and so here we're feeling in that little bit more others saying healing others saying wonderful good to make noise again oh, fantastic yeah good to be back celebratory fantastic fantastic magical others are saying Hey, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So I'm just trying to remember, there are a couple of um, bits of information I'll try and uh, remember to say this evening. Other kind of uh, things, um, or kind of plans going forward with bits. Um, and what's sort of prompted is, is our friends in New Zealand joining. Um, you may have seen, uh, if you saw the newsletter, everybody, um, there's on the 8th of August there is the, a global drumming gathering. This is a vision that's that's come from um, somebody in, in New Zealand who's had a vision on the 8th of the 8th that there'd be 8,000 drums singing across the world um, at 11 minutes past 11. Um, so it's a, a week on Sunday and it's fantastically gathered a lot of energy that there's more than 50 countries involved with hundreds of drumming circles and drumming groups and individuals uh, kind of saying that they're looking to be getting involved with that there and it starts in whatever country you're in so it is New Zealand that will be kicking it off with the first 11-11 and then passing it on around the world and there's um, if you if you go onto the Heron Drums Facebook page and have a look at the newsletter I've got the details in the newsletter there Otherwise, search um, Global Drum Gathering hyphen water protectors 
uh, there's a Facebook group. Within that group there, I think there's going to be lots of people going live, live streaming to share set their ceremony or their drumming circle throughout that. So um, yes, it's just you just prompted me on that the genus. Um, that yes, that's to kind of do get involved with that. I'm 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 away on that kind of uh, week and so not able to host anything. Otherwise, I would be kind of looking to call something together. Um, but uh, there's been a lot that's been put together by Jim Petruzzi and anybody who um, was on our uh, uh, who came along to uh, the Sacred Earth Activism Conference earlier on in the year will have met Jim Petruzzi talking about his work with the online networks for the um, Water Protectors uh, Standing Rock. Um, he was talking about that early on in the year. So he's um, uh, uh, been doing a lot to kind of create this group and build this this kind of uh, this this large group where people will be live streaming into, and you'll be able to connect in with that. So uh, that's not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. Um, and I'll if I get any more messages about it or updates about it. Um, I'll share them across. What will probably be easier if I share the group, and then people can connect in with it that way. That will be the uh, the best one. And yes, wonderful if people kind of across the world can get involved with that and at least follow that and and join in when it gets to eleven eleven where you are. Um, that that you know we'll we'll, we'll get to the eight thousand drums and really really build that energy at that time. Um, would be, be absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic we can um so yeah i'll pop on the facebook uh post underneath the live stream here afterwards i'll pop the link to the group in the video so let me know in the comment section if you're interested and you're wanting more information on that and i'll kind of uh, pop the link there for you um in reply to you so that you can you can see it more easily that's the first thing that comes to mind um, the other thing that's in mind, and particularly seeing some people on here who are from the Ashford Drumming Circle, is I'm, I'm trying to work on the plan for the return to the Ashford Drumming Circle at the end of the month for the last Tuesday of the month sessions and see if we can get back around our Sacred Fire um, and drum there together. Um, I'm working on a plan for next month and we'll update with a kind of a, a Facebook event for it. Um, I'm, what I'm going to be trying to work out is the logistics of how we can do um, a live stream that includes people on Zoom as well as uh, people on um, uh, as well as going onto the Facebook Live. So uh, what I might be looking to see is if there's a volunteer or somebody who's able to help manage the Zoom and and do the live stream on the Zoom while I kind of check in on the Zoom individually there's, there's a way there's a way of doing it it's just uh, not something I'd be able to do um, uh, while out around the fire um, but that's I'll be kind of when I've got something clearer on what the plan is for that um, I'll kind of update as to whether or not we are back at Ashford um, for the drumming circle around the fire uh, at the end of next month which will be end of end of August um, but hopefully hopefully we will be able to join in together with a, a circle of drums. We'll be able to have the sacred fire there and uh, be able to include everybody in this wider circle who's been joining in from New Zealand, from San Francisco, from Germany, from Luxembourg and from up and down the UK as well. That will be the uh, what, what we'll work on. It seems a bit ambitious, but I'm assured and, and sure it can be done. I've seen it done on kind of different uh, the uh, kind of druid ceremony groups and things like that, where things have been going on in different places. So uh, we will we will see what we can do with that. I think that's all of the updates, really. Um, I've been very much focused on uh, moving in and getting settled here, and um, you know I ended up kind of just sorting and resorting and rearranging and whatever. And it's just like okay, I need to. What will make me feel at home actually starting with some going into ceremony and birthing some drums so there's been some uh, brand new drums newly born drums born in this space here and uh, yeah really really great to uh, for those ones where they're uh, uh, bespoke drum orders they'll be making their way out soon 
um, and there'll be some others that I'll be working on in the in the coming weeks as well. And there's some others that hopefully uh, it will happen soon. I've been um, just creating a new website that will hopefully fix some of the the not bugs but kind of bugbears as it were for the uh, from the old one. And um, so hopefully there'll be a brand new shiny website that will be going live soon. And on there, there'll be a bit more of an introduction of this space and uh, kind of letting you know where it is um, and, and all of those details. So that's really what I've been focused on. Um, a number of people have been asking about the Spirit of the Drum online course and the Spiritual Rewilding online courses. They will be happening again in the autumn. Um, I will have a look at kind of what dates can fit for those. Um, as I mentioned in the newsletter, I haven't scheduled any um, drum birthing workshops because it's really only been in the last month that I've felt well enough to be able to do those. Um, the time ahead or kind of the lead time from when I schedule a workshop and um, from when it runs, when, yeah, when I schedule it and kind of advertise a workshop and to, between when it happens um, is quite a while and we'll probably be running out of year this year. Um, but that will be in the plans, uh, kind of looking at what the situation will be going forward with those. That's one of the big questions I get is to do with the drum birthing workshops. I will be keeping kind of things updated on the newsletter and on the page. So if you're, if you're waiting for updates on those, um, I'll let you know then. But the aim will be that we'll be continue to have this space at the end of the month and that the, the, the drumming circle kind of feed, as it were, will be joining in. Um, will be coming in from, from Ashford. Um, the uh, journeying circle, which usually happens on the second Tuesday of the month, I know I'm not going to be around in August for that, um, so that won't be on again in August, unfortunately, and I'll see what I can, what we can arrange in terms of um, starting those again in September, but I'll be needing to keep you updated on, on plans for those. I think that's all of the, the kind of the, the logistics or kind of the uh, the what's coming up in terms of things to remember for the calendar uh, for bits going forward. Um, over the next month or so, but uh, let's come back into things over the next week or so. Um, is the celebration of Lunasa or Lamas? Um, it can sometimes be. People will say it's the 1st or 2nd of August. I like to fix my calendar for these ceremonies on what go, what's going on on the land. So like with Imolk at the beginning of the year, some people that's fixed on 1st or 2nd of February. I like to mark it when I've seen the first snowdrop. Um, with Beltane, rather than necessarily strictly 1st of May as it were, um, I like to fix that with the when I see the blossom on the hawthorn. Um, with Lunasa or for Lamas, the first harvest, I tend to set that when the grain in the fields has gone from green to gold. And that happened about a week or so ago, um, as far as I noticed it. I know we've got people in the group who would be more vigilantly watching or aware, or the families would be more vigilantly watching and aware when that turn happens. Um, others may notice it more by it being the time when you're more often getting stuck behind tractors and things like that in country lanes when you're out driving places. This time of year as we start the first harvest. And a very very old ceremony that we, um, the, the name uh, Lunasa uh, relates to the Irish celebration of this that links to the god Lug and we will be singing the song at the end, Lug on Fada, uh, which speaks to a lot of those associations as the god of the harvest or as the celebration of the harvest. Here it would have been known as Lamas, um, which comes from the term loaf mass, um, linked to the grains becoming ripe. And we start to get the fruits of the labour of the year that's passed. And the first grains many people will give as an offering back to the earth. Or, you know, the, the kind of sense that we give that as an offering uh, of gratitude back to the earth and the celebration of loaf mass is the first bread that is baked 
at the, uh, the start of the first harvest. I, you, I always throw this out to uh, the group. So what are your associations with Lunasa or Lamas? What comes to mind for you in relation to Lunasa or Lamas? What does it symbolize for you? What does it mean for you? Pop that in the, the comments below and the, uh, or in the, the chat section. Brilliant, starts this off straight away. So the sun, high summer, uh, the cob nuts dropping, sunflowers out, long hours for farming, lamas games, and baking bread. Fantastic, long list there, Tony. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, it's an interesting one where we have kind of midsummer and midwinter. That those are the, the the kind of those midpoints in the solar time, but actually it's now is kind of is very much the the, the high summer in terms of the heat. Um, in the same way as you know, it's a little while after midwinter that we really dip into the kind of the real cold spell, and it's this you know this this high point of the sun and the summer to really help kind of the, the ripening off of all those fruits, and that's what's going on out on the land. But uh, yes, there's kind of symbolically what goes on for ourselves as well. So let's, uh, what other associations do we have there? People want to pop those in the chat and in the comments. First one that comes to mind, I was remembering back to uh, last year's when we had it in the, uh, in, in my old uh, office. I had the kind of the big gold um, throw or kind of, um, scarf maybe it was uh, hanging up there the color gold for this season fantastic others community community gatherings to give thanks and celebration there was also uh, the um, the old Mercian gathering would happen more is it end of August or beginning of September but it was all related to that uh, time of the harvest and we were going to give give our thanks and gratitude our prayers onto the the wicker man and, and those would go up then in the the burning of the wicker man as those, those uh, to carry those prayers so they carry them over into the other world as it were so that they may be heard by the spirit world yeah others festivals and gatherings the garden reaching its peak with flowers and tomatoes and bees everywhere i don't know if people remember last year i was kind of very excited about some of the tomatoes i got some of those big beef tomatoes and some of them were about this big no exaggeration Having moved this year, I haven't kind of had any tomatoes in place, but I, I, I wonder if they've kind of grown back up in that spot there, because um, they, they had done in the past, but they, those are absolutely enormous. And bees everywhere. Fantastic. Any others there on the, uh, the Facebook Live? What are your associations with this celebration and with Lamas? Well, I always uh, find quite... You know, when we connect in with Lunasa and Lamas, we connect in with an old celebration that goes back to the kind of the agricultural era, um, as it as it were. The kind of the, the, it relates to kind of the, the farming lifestyle. And um, what I what I find quite exciting with it is there was an old tradition. It was a, it it was an old tradition around this time to go and visit holy wells and sacred wells, and those sacred wells go back thousands and thousands of years and the the kind of the association of kind of traveling to and visiting those 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 sacred spaces those sacred sites you know we goes back we know in this land goes back even 10,000 years in places from places where we know offerings being given at sacred wells so there's there's something about kind of keeping these this the, the acknowledgement and the honoring of these celebrations that does connect us with something that is thousands of years old Getting a few more in here of the corn mail, corn mazes, and the corn dollies. Uh, bare feet and big circles. Oh, we go. Bare, bare feet, big circles at the Glastonbury tour. Yeah, these big gatherings together, and it is the time of season. Uh, it is the time of year or the season for festivals, typically. Um, I know some have uh, gone on this year, and some haven't. But it is typically the time where we'll be out in that more, more extroverted point of ourself, kind of outdoors celebrating, um, enjoying the outdoors, the lovely weather, 
um, the time out camping or at festivals. And I'll read that one out. So, gr uh, growing up around this time, all the women in, of my extended family would get together to camp in Yosemite. So dust and playing in the river, fantastic. So yeah, that is that kind of that gathering together, getting outdoors and spending time outdoors. Big fat harvest moon there from is, uh, the suggestion, for, or kind of the, the uh, thrown into the mix there from Ellen. Yeah, still honouring the wells in Derbyshire, fantastic. Yeah, that connection to the ancient being really, really important. And as I often talk about that, uh, those things that are happening out there in the land are also happening in here on a uh, kind of personal psycho-spiritual level as well. So, you know, we're coming to that point of harvest within ourselves. And so it's kind of good to reflect on the fruits of the fruits of your labor from your plans from the year, from the seeds that you planted in terms of new ideas and new beginnings. And, you know, as we've kind of emerged from things this year, um, different situation for our friends in New Zealand. Um, we this year have still kind of had lockdowns uh, that we've been in through the first part of the year and during that time there will have been lots of plans or goals or ideas or aims that we have for when we re-emerge or what we can what we can make of this year and do it do with this year. So it's a nice to, to begin already to re be reflecting on the fruits of the labour. This uh, your own harvest. And lovely extra information there from Darnbrook. Well dressing festivals across the village where the wells are dressed with beautiful murals made from petals on clay. Absolutely lovely. So, our round of drumming now is going to be in honour of the celebration of Lunasa, the celebration of Lammas, or whatever you call it, and honouring um, honouring and giving thanks. For that own person, for our own personal harvests. So I'll join in. I'll uh, start. You all join in.
Once again, just feeling the vibrations just dissipate and be absorbed as we send out those prayers of honouring and gratitude for the spirit of the season, the celebration of Lunasa and Lamas in this time of the first harvest. And just breathe a little bit more deeply into your body. Breathe down to your fingers and your toes, maybe moving your fingers and your toes, just moving your back a bit in your chair just to stretch and look around. Yeah. Just all help just to ground and bring yourself back. And let us know you're back either in the, the chat or the comment section, either with an emoji or letting us know how you're feeling from that round of drumming how you're feeling now oh, brilliant. I can see some bubbles going up there wonderful There's one here saying it was a, a gift, others thought provoking, going deeper and deeper. And somebody using a different drum and uh, those who kind of have been on the spirit of the drum or we've looked at the spirit of the drum know that they've got their own personalities with that and uh, seem this drum wanted to go faster with that energy of the summer, that heightened power of this time of the year. Others feeling really strong energy with it. Others finding it quite an insightful round. Yeah, reflecting on you know, the fruits of your labour. Your own harvest from the visions and, and plans for this year. Ah, amazing. Amazing. Ah, oh, fantastic. There's a few people that found that quite reflective. Yeah, coming into the season of harvest, the harvest season is very much a celebration of gratitude, so time for gratitudes and reflections, fantastic. And so taking the energy from those first two rounds, this first round connecting us at a circle, second round connecting in with the spirit of the season and really drawing that that power and strength into, into now. We'll have our next round of drumming as our healing round. So we can drum some love and strength, some of that love and strength in their direction for those who are needing it at the moment. And so what we do for this round is uh, in the same way as we might do if we were in a circle and we'd pop names into the center. Um, we're just going to yeah, bring into the centre those that we want to drum some love and strength to. Because Facebook's a public place, I just say no identifiable names, initials will do the trick, or first names. Um, on Zoom we're in a bit more of a private space, so uh, yeah, we can stick with initials still. Um, but yeah, anybody that you think could do with some love and strength, drum to them as the dedication for the next round. We say love and strength rather than uh, anything more specific in terms of healing because you know with that love and strength they can then be uh, making the decisions about where they go with it but if it's just something that lifts them up in order to to help them forward. And we can dedicate this round to them here. Thanks everybody who's already started popping their initials into the, the chat there. Into the centre of our circle, into the space that we share here together.
so that we can dedicate this round to them. So for all those Sure, thanks Angela. So for all those that we've named in the circle, that we've put the initials of in the circle, and all of those that we hold in our minds and our hearts, let us hold them together as a circle as we drum for love and strength for them. And feel free to uh, bring in your voice for this round of drumming if you feel that you want to stand up and move. All of those things help, you know, if you're not so static, the energy moves through you a lot more easily. Um, and so if you feel that you want to do that, do, 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 do so. This round of drumming, love and strength for all those in our minds and in our hearts.
those healing rhythms go out far and wide to all of those that we've dedicated this round to. Maybe they feel that love and that strength. And for all of us here, again just deepening that breath. Moving the fingertips and toes. Just moving in your seat, looking around, look for something to something in the room, nice to look at, just to really bring your focus and your attention into the room that you're in. And let us know there when you're back. And let us know how you're feeling from that round. What word would you describe to what word would you use to describe how you felt during that round? you're still just taking a little bit longer to come back really focusing on deepening that breathing right down to your belly just get the oxygen right back in to you the replies in from people who are returning back from that heart pounding and heartfelt energetic and powerful others uplifted others uh, decided to stand and uh, oh, I didn't get the whole of that but uh, Others refreshing, feeling a reset from that. Others feeling emotional from that. Others feeling happy from that. Fantastic. And continue to let us know with a, a heart or a thumb or a smiley face or whatever. If you're, if you're back, just, if you're just coming back. Over somewhere other than here, yeah. As the evening goes on, definitely, you know, it's about this point in the evening where we do drop that much deeper, and that's a particularly deep focus with that particular round. So it is something that you know we do we do find ourselves going into some, some uh, quite a deep place with that. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, as I say, we drop down deeper with this and before we finish this evening, we need to just lift ourselves up a little bit more. And uh, continuing our honouring of the spirit of the season, we're going to end on a song, Lou Lamfada. And some people may remember this from last year. Um, I'm not sure if I've shared this one in the Ashford circles previously, but quite possibly. I um, may have heard it from elsewhere. But the, the words for it are Luglanfada, Sage of Skill, Sun and Harvest, Spear of Will. Luglanfada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright. I'll go through those again and I'll sing it for a couple of times before I bring the drums in um, so that you can kind of pick it, pick up, pick it up. Lug Lelfada is the first words and that relates to Lug, the god Lug and Lelfada is of the long arm which is one of his one of his names. So Lug Lelfada Sage of skill Sun and harvest Spear of will. Lug Laufada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright. I have a vague memory that when I sing this one, it doesn't lend itself naturally to a drum rhythm, so I'm going to have to work it out as we go. But that's part of the fun of the, uh, the song part of the evening, is, you know, we just give it a go. So I'll begin. Uh, as you pick it up, join in. My suggestion always with uh, 
learning new circle songs is as soon as you kind of can start to get the melody hum along with it while you're picking up the words if there's bits of the words that you really know then sing those ones loud and strong and you know pick it up a bit more as you go and just hum the bits that you're less sure of until you've got it all so I'll begin Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will. Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright. Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will. Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright. Luglau Fada, sage of skill. Sun and harvest, spear of will, Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright, Luglau Fada, sage of skill, Sun and harvest, spear of will, Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright, Luglau Fada, sage of skill, Sun and harvest, spear of will, Luglau Fada with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright. Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will. Luglau Fada with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright. Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will. Luglau Fada with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright. Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will. Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright. Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will. Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright. Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will. Blessings, blessings bright, Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will, Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright, Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will, Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright, Luglau Fada, sage of skill. Blessings, blessings bright, Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will, Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright, Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will, Luglau Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright, Luglau Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear Blessings, blessings bright, Lula Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will, Lula Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright, Lula Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear of will, Lula Fada, with your might, bring us blessings, blessings bright, Lula Fada, sage of skill, sun and harvest, spear celebration of this first harvest honoring the fruits of our labors the gifts of this year honoring the circle this space that we have together honoring the growth within ourselves through the past months and the past year 
and for all of this time that we've connected in together for this circle that's been there as this regular support, this regular holding for one another. To all of the unseen that weave their magic and their energy in and throughout everything that's experienced. To the spirit guides, spirit allies, to the wisdom and strength of the elements, and to those ancestors whose ancient traditions and festivals, whose ancient practices and their timeless strength and wisdom we continue to weave in and throughout the space that we share together. And so for all of this and more we give our heartfelt thanks and gratitude. We say thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be. And thanks everybody for joining in again this evening. Really, really lovely to connect in with everybody and share this space with you all. And uh, so as mentioned, I will update on the page and via the newsletter um, for the coming drum circles and what the plans and logistics are with that. Um, if you're not already signed up to the newsletter, the information is at the blurb of the Facebook video, um, the, the live stream, for how to join it. Um, and if you're finding this afterwards on the YouTube video, it'll be in the description underneath um, there as well, how to join to the mailing list. And look forward to seeing you all again on the next one. Take care.